What's up guys? So I wanted to make a how to calculate your macros in the easiest way. So how I'm gonna do it, it's just super simple. It's just six steps. And I'm making this video because I wanna say thank you to all the support on this channel. And to the people who's new to my channel, I just wanna say thank you for joining my journey. So I just wanna give thanks back. Just showing you how I calculate macros and if I'm trying to lean out for the summer, which is coming right around the corner, so I can't wait to show you guys. So, <clears throat> right here, I'll show you guys real quick. This is Macros 101. We're gonna go over maintenance, find your protein, and amino fats, find your carbs. We're gonna do weekly weigh-ins, because that's how we track everything. Adjustments and get freaking shredded, because that's what we're all here about to do in this channel. And if you look just right here to your left, I've been tracking my macros right here, and this is where my weekly weigh-ins has been, so you guys can see that. So, I started it out about 151, all the way up until now, I'm at 146.6. Calories. Okay. So, the next thing I'm gonna go over here now, is just gonna be going over your calories maintenance. So, this is from Shredded, so if you're looking to maintain and a lean bulk. So what we're gonna go over, and I'm gonna give you guys a formula of how this works. So what I'm gonna do, basically I'm gonna times it and multiply by either 14, 15, or 16. So I'm using David, which is filming right now for an example. So 14 is you're not active, you're sitting at a desk all day. Let's say a construction worker, okay? So a construction worker, I would put him about 16. And then let's just say, Maybe a personal trainer would be there too. 15 would be like your babysitter, your walking, your minor. So let's just say for example, for David, what would you say, David, that you would probably be at? Would you say you're 14, 15, or 16? Probably 16. So David is probably very active since he swims and he works out and he's on his feet because he has to walk around campus since he's a college student. So what I'm gonna do is, so you guys can see this right here. I'm gonna do 151 pounds times 16. Mm -hmm. So that's his calories right there, 2,416. So I'll put that right here, 2,416. So that is his maintenance calorie right there. To maintain his weight for 151 pounds, that's how much he should be eating a day, okay? So what I'm gonna do is after that, is since we're gonna be going on a shred and we're gonna try to go on deficit, I'm gonna probably start him out maybe by decreasing it by 500 to 600 calories, depending. So just starting out, and you guys can always adjust it too as well along the way. So if you don't see yourself losing like a pound to a pound and a half a day, maybe you guys can just adjust that. 1,416 calories is his maintenance calorie. So for him to go on a shred, let's just say I would minus that by 500. So his shredding calories should, and that seems about right, would be now 1,916 cal is how he's gonna start shredding. And he can start adjusting this too, but that's just like, like a starting point and he can adjust it every single week or depending on how he feels. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go over, over now is protein intake. So we found out where his calories should be now. Now we're gonna go over protein. How much protein should he intake a day? So this is my next formula. I did 0.75 to one gram to 1.25 grams, you know, uh, per body weight. So his body weight is 151 pounds. And because David is fairly active, I would say a gram to 1.25 grams. And if you do more than that, I mean a little more wouldn't hurt anyways, since uh, you know more protein doesn't do anything anyways, it's just gonna flush out of your body. So we're gonna do 151 pounds, and let's just say for example, what would you say David? Would you do like a gram to 1.25 grams? How much would you say? Probably a gram. A gram? So because, I mean, simple math, 151 pounds, with one gram times that, that's just gonna be 151. But, for example, let's just say he's, 
doing a comp competition. So let's just say he's doing like a physique show, um, jumping on stage. I would do 1.25 grams. So if I did 151 pounds times that by 1.25. So he would have to eat about 188 grams. We'll just say, just to make it easier for him to go ahead and maintain that lean, lean look if he's looking to jump on stage. But since it's just easy, now it's just right here, 151 grams. That's how much his protein should be in a day. All right, so the next thing is how to calculate your fats and how much you should be eating. So I got the formula again right here. So 0.3 grams. If you guys really like your carbs and you guys don't want to cut your carbs out, okay? And then I have the whatever right here. So if you guys are really mutual, you can just do honestly 3.5 grams or 3.5 and then you guys can multiply it. And then there's 0.4 grams. So if you love fatty foods, so that would be like peanut butter, almond butter, butter, um, avocados, stuff like that. Carbs would be like white rice, bread, you know, and carbs, they give you energy for performance. And that's the same thing with fats too. So it's super crucial to have either if you love your fatty side or your carb side. And for me, I would do carbs. And I would say that's the same thing with you, right, David? That you like carbs? Mm -hmm. So for David, what I would do, since he loves his carbs, he eats his white rice, his bread and everything. So that same thing, times 0.3 grams to his body weight, which is 151 pounds, okay? So if I did that right here, 151 times 0.3. Okay, so he has to eat at least 45.3 grams a day. Okay, so we'll just say 45. So if he's over that, then it's more gonna be on the fatty side. But again, the if you have, you have to have fats because that's just gonna have your body's gonna be able to function and metabolize and everything. So it's important to have carbs and fat. But if he's loving the carb side, that's how he's gonna calculate his carbs is right there, is how his uh, fat should be, my bad. So 45, so we'll just say right here, 45 grams is his maintenance level for his uh, intake and then when he's going on a cut. So that's how much he should be. Okay, so now since we got the fat figured out, now the next thing is going over the carbs. So we found out what his protein is and what his fat is. How are we gonna calculate carbs, okay? So just so you guys know, Protein, four calories per gram. So every gram is about four calories, okay? Every fat is right here, nine calories per gram, okay? And then for carbs is four calories per gram. So you guys know that. So now if we did this here from protein, so his body weight, again, he wanted one gram per of his body weight. So we're gonna do 151, 151 times four. So if I do that right here, 151 times four, that's 604 calories that he's gonna be eating. So we'll just put 604, okay? The next thing here is 45 times nine because there's nine calories per gram. So if we do, what was that? 45 that we said times nine, that's 405 calories that he's eating. I'm sorry guys, I'll do that again. So 45 times nine. That's 405 calories right there. So 405 calories. Okay, cool. So now we found out what everything is. What we're gonna do now is add these two together. So if we do 604 plus 405, so that's 1,009 between his protein and his fats. So what we're gonna do now is subtract that by 1,916 because we're gonna minus that by 500. That's what we did. So if I did now 1,916, so his carbs, he can only eat is 907 calories. So now we found out 907 calories. But how many grams is that? So that's the trick now. What we're gonna do now is 907, divide that since that we found out what his calories are. So now we're just gonna do some backwards math. And what carbs right here was four calories per gram. So we're gonna divide that by four. So for his cut would be nearly about 226, I mean carbs, 226 carbs. So 226 
for his carbs. And that's great. Yeah. So now we found out everything. So he can have almost 907 calories of carbs. So that's 226 grams. Right here, 405 calories. That's 45 grams. His body weight was 151 grams, which was his protein. So calories is 604. Now, just to put everything all together so you guys can see this. So the ending result here, in order for David to go on a cut, 1,916 is what we calculated after his maintenance calorie. And this is how he's gonna start adjusting whatever he needs to do. And at the end of the day, guys, this is how I do it for my clients and stuff like that. How I have them go on a cut and stuff like that. This is what the formula I use. So, I mean, don't, you don't have to take my word for it. If this doesn't work for you, it doesn't, you know, but from what I've seen with my results that with my other clients, it does work and it works for me as well. So this is a formula that I follow. So I wanted to share this with you guys. So, at, so in order for him to hit those calories and he can adjust it when he needs to, 151 grams for his protein. Fats will be 45 grams and carbs is 226 grams. So that is how we found out everything. And that's the formula for you guys, so you guys can check that out. Other than that, you guys, that's how you find out your calculating your macros and if you wanna go on a cut or if you're trying to go on a lean bulk. So I wanted to share that with you guys because you guys are all my fans and I can't thank you guys enough for the love and support. So in order for me to give some and share it back to you guys, I wanna show you guys my formula and how I calculate my macros and how I go on a cut. And since summer's around the corner, everyone's trying to get shredded and same with me too as well. And I'm at 146 pounds, so so far so good. I'm cutting really well and I just keep adjusting. So that's how you guys can maintain your macros and if you wanna find your maintenance or if you wanna go on a cut or go on a lean bolt. So on that you guys, that being said, I can't thank you guys enough. I'll see you guys next time and again thank you so much and if you guys like my videos hit that subscribe button if you really consider watching my videos and hit that like button too as well because i hope this was informational for you guys so i'll see you guys later